Okay, all right, next one. Um, so soul-based understanding that divine truth does not hurt anyone or anything. So I would feel that when others feel hurt by the truth, they are simply out of harmony with love of themselves. Exactly. Yeah. This is a very big thing is that a lot of people withdraw from any interaction with another because the other person feels hurt and violently expresses their hurt. Now, my response to such action is, no, you feel hurt because you just don't want to accept the truth. And the reason why you don't want to accept the truth is because you want to avoid the pain of the error releasing you. That's the only reason why you're upset now. Yeah. It's not my fault you're upset. It's, it's your choice to avoid your pain th yeah. that causes you being upset. That's the only reason. And so I don't take on the blame of other people's response to hearing truth that I've delivered. Mm -hmm. Now, a person who's in harmony with truth would never take on the blame that other people try to apportion to them for hearing the truth. Mm -hmm. They would never take on the blame. Mm -hmm. They would always see that the, that the pain the person is experiencing is the choice of their own desire for the error yeah. rather than the happiness that could result from them accepting the truth. I was just thinking about an example. I don't know if you remember this. We had lunch a little while ago with a man who wasn't listening to Divine Truth teachings, but he told us about an experiment that he'd done some 20 years ago with just telling the truth in all situations. Yeah. And no sooner had he made this decision, well, you know, I think truth's important, so I'm going to tell the truth. His neighbour came over, uh, knocked on the door and handed him a cake uh, as a gift. Yeah. And... Um, he accepted the gift and a couple of days later she came back and said, what did you think of the cake? And he said, oh, I've got to tell the truth. I actually didn't like it that very much. <laughs> and he told us that 20 years, she's still his neighbour and 20 years later she still begrudges him yeah. saying that he didn't like the cake. And yes. he actually gave up the experiment of telling the truth. Um, for that reason. Yeah, well, perhaps for a few for other probably reasons. Probably many more reasons. <laughs> but, uh, he found it was too traumatic. But this idea that... Um, well, firstly... He was unable to experience his own emotion, firstly. Yeah. So the whole reason why he stopped doing that was because he didn't like to feel the attack. He took on the blame, didn't he? he? Well, not only... No, well, I don't or think guilt. he took on the blame because emotionally he still believes he did the right thing. Yeah. But he just felt that other people can't cope with it. Yeah. And because he feels that and is willing to modify the truth because of that, he attracts that all the time. Yeah. So in other words, whenever he tells the truth... Other people around him can't cope with it because of this emotion he has within him saying, you won't be able to cope with this, you won't be able to cope with this, and I'm going to get afraid of you when you can't cope with this. And it's his own fear of other people not being able to cope with the truth that causes him to revert back to the lie. Mm -hmm. Now, if he, was more, if he had more integrity to the truth, he would go, no, this woman's 20-year... You know, Grudge. Begrudge, begrudgement of him telling the truth is her emotion mm -hmm. that she is unwilling to feel. Yeah. She asked him, was it nice? She wanted to hear, yes, it was, yeah. but he was willing to tell her the truth, no, it wasn't. Mm -hmm. Now, that's a lovely thing because she's <laughs> going to keep making cakes for yeah. 20 years <laughs> yeah. and then think they're all nice yeah. and most people around her are going to think they're terrible yeah. and not tell her. Right, And eventually at some point in the future she'll find she spent 20 years making cakes that were terrible. <laughs> yep. And she'll find People out... People have been giving it to the, chooks, or to the chickens. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and she'll find out the truth, which will be much more extreme than it was just having one person tell her. Yes. If one person tells her, she has the ability to change the recipe yeah. and make it more tasty. But the fact that she still... <laughs> is holding on to hurt and hasn't changed her recipe, that's showing a fair amount of resistance, isn't it, to totally. the experience lots, of emotion? Lots of resistance yeah. to the experience of emotional pain and lots of resistance to understanding that actually she doesn't make a nice cake, yeah. which is the main feeling she's avoiding, right? Yeah. And, and she's basically avoiding that feeling, yeah. that she doesn't make a nice cake. It would be far better if she felt the feeling, oh, well, I mustn't make a very nice cake. Have a good cry about it if she wants to cry about such things. <laughs> oh, perhaps then, <laughs> she's got some emotional investment in well, she feeling probably has. a good woman makes a good cake or yeah, something. Something like that. <laughs> but if she let go of the emotional investment, she'd go, okay, I'm going to find a, I'm going to find a <laughs> cake 
that I can take to the next door neighbour and say, and he goes, wow, that was the best cake I've ever <laughs> yeah. tasted. You know, that would be a nice goal instead of holding on to the grudge for 20 years. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, so in the end, him telling her the truth would have helped her yeah. and would have helped many people other than her because yeah. many people other than her don't have to put up with bad cakes <laughs> yeah. as well. It would have helped, but, but she chose... She chose, through the denial of her emotion, she chose to have a different experience. She chose to avoid the truth. Mm -hmm. She chose to avoid her emotions. And then because she chose that and instead got angry with him, mm -hmm. he chose to avoid the truth yeah. because of people getting angry with him about it. Yeah. So he made a compromise now mm -hmm. about the truth. He was afraid of people's anger and now that's getting triggered he now is compromising the truth and so now he will get hurt by the compromise of truth. His soul mm. will degrade in its condition and other people will feel hurt from his compromise of truth. And he's actually associating the anger with truth rather than the anger with emotional error. Exactly. And his truthful actions being loving. Exactly. And exposing error. Exactly. Yeah. So he is, has an internal belief that the truth hurts. Yeah. Otherwise he would not make such associations. Yeah. He would never avoid telling the truth just because it appears to hurt somebody yeah. Yeah. or they claim it hurts them. Yeah. yeah.